said that uh, very, very, very doubtful that we'll see any of the Potter today. So on the first play of the game, they'll hand it off to seven. Tyler Irvin out of Colton, California, picks up five. McKenzie standing up in the middle of that defense. Now he comes to the outside. They'll run it with Irvin. Has a hole. A first down. He's out over the 25 to the 27-yard line. A big gain on third down. Jonathan Ford pushes him out of bounds, but that's 18 yards for Mr. Irvin. Look at this speed that Tyler Irvin has. An excellent blocking on the perimeter to get him to the edge. Fantastic running lane for him. So now it is second down. And let's call it 11. He'll throw over the middle looking for Irvin. He's in the slot and it's picked off. Auburn has the football. Out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Picked off by Justin Garrett, the senior out of Stone Mountain. Well, it was Blake Countess again coming up with a big play because it was his shot on Tyler Irvin as he came up. Dislodge this football. Whenever the ball goes up, everyone on the offensive sideline holds their breath because the defense is collapsing around wherever the ball went. Justin Garrett, in the opening game of the season, came up with a big turnover, a fumble return for a touchdown. He's been banged up. To get this uh, headed in the right direction, off to a good start here in the opening quarter, leading at 7 to nothing. Here is Tyler Irvin. He is to the 32-yard line. Connor carried the ball 42 times on this small frame last week. And he hits one. Urban coming right side. Hurdles a guy. He's out over the 35 to the 36-yard line. Irvin had. He still likes to use the fullback, but they will spread you out. Irvin. Boy, he is just a shifty runner. Inside the 45-yard line. Six more yards. Irvin in. On first down and 10 from the 25, they will swing it. Irvin, he has a first down and a lot more. This guy is something else. Knocked out of bounds on a big hit by Jonathan Ford. Irvin, guard pickup. You see, it's just a simple swing, and you see him get him out in space, almost like a long handoff. He ends up running right through an arm tackle of Trey Matthews coming from his safety position, and another big gainer. Additional eye, you don't see a whole lot of this anymore. Quarterback under center. They'll give it to Irvin. Falls forward for a couple of yards inside the 35-yard line. Chris Frost. That's where your call loss. Inside handoff will be good enough for the first down to the 24-yard line. That went from Tyler Irvin. You know, all the young faces out there for the defense. They don't have time to focus on any one area. Byron Cowart, they've been pleased with the snaps that they've gotten out. Irvin, boy, he gets right behind his offense, oh, puts his hand on the back of the lineman almost every time he runs between the tackles. He'll go Irvin again. He'll pick up three and a half the hard way. Chris Frost then telling us yesterday that could do that multi-role in that defensive backfield. Here's a guy that is so talented, Irvin. He'll have enough for the first down. Inside, uh, right at the midfield stripe. On this play, it's just a power play. Once again, we've seen it numerous times. Doesn't see anywhere to go. Justin Garrett came up to fill the gaps. Hobby attack is clogged up. Irvin. To the 42-yard line. Give him eight more. Let's go downstairs and check the field. First down and ten. Irvin back in the game, working the right side. He's a little crease, picks up another eight yards. He's closing in on 100. I think he's up over 90. Spartan offense. Second down. Urban that time got spun around from Casanova McKenzie and then the big hit from Justin Garrett. Well, Matt Casanova McKenzie beat Nate Valensko at the right tackle right now, right underneath, upfield. And Tyler Irvin, whenever you've got your running back making moves in his own offensive backfield, that bodes well for the defense. Justin Garrett was there for a four. Six on third downs today. Irvin, it's going to be close. He might be about a foot shy. Lost the football, batted in the air still loose 
regardless of who falls on it, it'll be Auburn football. Well, this defense, he extended the football enough to gain the yards needed. But then it was Montrevious Adams, who I think was just blindly reaching up. You see number one there get his right hand on the football. And Jonathan Jones able to get there as the ball ricochets. Line up in that eye formation on his first play. They'll go with Irvin. He's out over the 30 to the 34-yard line. Give him eight and a half, Justin Garrett. Seven. Go Urban again, and he'll have the first down. He'll spot it at the 36-yard line. Borges and what he terms the spread coast offense. Picking up some yards here today, but only one touchdown on the board as Urban again picks up four yards over the a positive. Great, 12 out of 19, throwing the football. Third down, and let's say 11. Three-man rush. He'll set up a screen to Urban. Needs a couple of blocks. He gets close to the 42. It's, let's see how close that will be to the first down line. One of the ways you can slow down a pass rush, you start dumping screens over top of that pressure. Great job by Chris Gonzalez, number 74, from his right guard spot, pulling out in front. And why not give Tyler Irvin the ball in space, turn it into a punt return for an excellent... Irvin down to the 37 yard line. Opening drive for San Jose State. 11 plays, 69 yards to this point. Here goes Irvin, turn of the corner. Touchdown, San Jose State. What a drive to start the third quarter. Well, we saw in the opening possession mention them getting for Auburn defensively. You see him, he switches. The ball to his inside hand. And I wonder, because that right foot, you see his, his right foot. The eye formation. Irvin looking for some room. I don't think he's going to get there. Probably right back to the original line. Especially versus the Spartan ground group. Stutter step by Irvin takes a big shot at the 40. He'll have the first down after another nine yards, but he pops up. And reckless with his body at safety, but watch the block of Shane Smith cutting down Chris Frost right there in the hole. And Tyler Irvin certainly opportunity after being perfect in the red zone to come away with no points. Irvin kicks it to the outside. He's to the 40. Another big gainer. Slung out of bounds near midfield. That'll be a pickup of 19 more yards for Mr. Irvin. Such a good job of bouncing runs. Chris Gonzalez leading up. You see him there. He just bounces the ball outside. So your second level support gets pulled inside. After a 300-yard performance last week against Fresno State. He'll go left side with Irvin again. He'll take it inside Auburn territory. Devontae Lambert, the first one there after a pickup of three. Irvin wrapped up after a gain of three. There's Lambert again. Single setback. Now they'll go offset eye. Here's Irvin. That time the hole closed up. Maybe a yard. Hard line. 5.42 to play. They'll go Irvin. Quickly hits the hole and gets in for the touchdown. Boy, he exploded through the line of scrimmage and put six on the board for the Spartans. About this week, if they really needed to shore up their special teams, they could use an explosive play here from Irvin. Face down from behind at the 30-yard line. And with that, let's get an update. Dari, what's going on?